Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my 2014 free agent and salary cap analysis, and this video is for the Atlanta Falcons, and certainly almost right from uh, week one, things started to go sideways on this Falcons season uh, due to injuries and underperforming players. The Falcons found their way to 4-12, and certainly disappointing when you consider this team had Super Bowl aspirations, but they're heading into a very important offseason here. One in, with the, in one in which they have a shade under $10.7 million in salary cap space available. And they really only have one free agent, to me, that they would even consider that they have to bring back. And that's defensive tackle Jonathan Babineau. Babineau is on the other side of 30. He's 32 years old. He's a guy who's been pretty steady for them both getting after the passer and in the rushing game. And when you look at the biggest problems for the Falcons this year, in my mind, it was the play on the lines on both sides of the ball. Offensive and defensive lines, really a weakness for this team. And it's something that Thomas Dimitrov and also uh, his new assistant, Scott Pioli, are going to have to address here in either free agency or the draft. Having only, you know, about, again, $10.7 million in cap room, they're really going to have to do their homework during the draft and I think plug some of those holes on either line um, via the draft. We'll see if they can, you know, what cuts they make here heading into free agency, if they can get in with the restructure. But Babineau, you know, might cost three, four million dollars to bring back. Is he worth it to them? Do they take a chance on a younger guy? We'll see. Um, but again, there are some good, you know, free agent you know, interior offensive linemen available, and there are also some very good free agent defense and tackles available. I mean, the two from Miami, Randy Starks and Paul Solii. You have Linville Joseph, uh, certainly from the Giants, and there's some other guys I'm missing here off the top of my head, but point is, if they want to really upgrade the interior of that defensive line, they could definitely do it in free agency. It just might take up a lot of the cap space they do have available. So, you know, Dimitrov's known to be very aggressive, um, both in free agency and during the draft. So we'll see um, what he can get done there. Let me know what you guys think, how you guys see the Atlanta should progress here in the offseason, given the salary cap room they do have and the free agents they do have pending here. Hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter as well. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing one of these videos for every team. Cover the NFL wall-to-wall -wall on here. So if you're new, be sure to subscribe. It's free. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.